Okay. Merlorn. We can target that. We have the beast. Maybe keep one of these. That's nice. I would actually quite like another Death Fish card. No, not that. No Death Fish card here. Just a sec. Uh, he comes back with peanuts? No. No peanuts this time. Just the window. <laughs> Actually, we have two death fish units. Yeah, if I cut, cut out the death fish unit, then that would also compromise haunt. Oh! Let's keep murdering. You found the mysterious package under a pile of rubble. But it doesn't say what it is. What could be? So he stole my card, which is gonna be 100% useless to him. And I'm totally okay with it. I can eat that, but do I want to? I might want to. Strictly because locking that is actually quite strong. Why won't inside yeah. and outside go squishy? Also swears a cart? <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's pretty vulnerable. Usually I wouldn't mind if, you know, he goes up a little bit of points, but like against Nilfgaard, chance of getting locked, chance of getting stolen. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like plus one point to as much to risk that. Sykesy. Whatever. Don't ask a lady her age. It's unbecoming. <laughs> Let's play the beast. That's a decent choice. So we can't really cut away these guys because they are also proactive plays. But if he had damage, then we can just kill the Thirsty Dame, so... You will not regret this, good sir. He's getting out the lock. Lock on a stick. I plan to do a, a Baya into an Andrega warrior and uh, that's it. After that we are probably passing. Maybe not a maybe not Andrega warrior. Maybe maybe Barghast. Oh no. That's good. Very yummy. <coughs> RNG? What the fuck? RNG into poison? <laughs> Feeling a bit you bastard. Okay, 52 points. 
Can you really hope to take this? I think not. After this we plan to uh, pass. What now, mate? Okay, obvious pass. Mm, got about usable hands. Uh, yep, Marilorn. So, we kick the Andrego Warrior. Actually, not that. Uh, let's kick the Marilorn. That could be still useful, especially with Glusty around. Noon Rate. The reason I'm a little hesitant to kick the Andraga is that we would need to find Kayren. But let's do it. Oh man. Get a risk. At least the chance of finding uh, Kairon is not the worst. At least, at least find the Andrago maybe eventually. I don't know. Is he keeping my own card? Why? I think he's just getting bamboozled by the provision cost. He's keeping my card, but why? Maybe he can uh, make some other consumers. Maybe bribery. Okay, Kairon, excellent. Not Andrago Larva. Merlorn, guaranteed noon rat value. How many consumers we need? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five exactly. Merlorn. Yeah, tie, better, better, worse, 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 worse. Just a heads up, the new uh, Nilfgaard range pink, one, one every turn card can also damage any unit. What? Which, which one? Oh, you're talking about the vampire guy, I, I get it. I, I know. For him, damage would be enough. But some others are a little bit tricky to take out, like, like Pofko can be taken out by damage. Don't know the name. Hmm. Is there anyone here to whom I can entrust my missive? Like Philippe Van Morleham, something like that. I believe his name. <coughs> oh man. Can't value. He's playing me. He can consume, he can consume the rat. Okay. Let's go and uh, play more noon raids. Unfortunately, we don't have gals. 
but it's fine. Festive pigs. I don't think we appreciate the pigs with scarves enough. What I would like to see that these pigs just come into the play playing field. Why not? They're just minding their own business, but they could just like stroll in here. Like gals would ever stick on board against Nilfgaard. It still makes sense because when we play gals, we can play hero power and, and generate four rats. The turn gals gets played. God, what is this guy doing? Bribery, the penitent. And now he has a one more lamb cup bearer with it. <laughs> oh man. Well, I have to target the noon, right? Okay, let's keep playing some more noon raids. Just to enable the K run, just in case. And you said Hunt will be useless? It was useless. He spammed his board with crap. <laughs> and he's gonna get totally wrecked by the rats. <laughs> I have served you. Now you must serve the Empire. Okay. Oh man. You should play in the back. Because either he plays it for like two card block and like a desert banshee, or he commits to it and he gets wrecked even harder. And that is exactly what happened. Ooh. Please delight in song and wine. Will he act? Maybe he uses a bait. Hmm. Maybe he wanted to bait with the haunt. I said haunt will be useless. You care to prove me wrong? You wasted time playing the haunt, blocking... At least six... Seven... Slots with it. He's giving me two points. Thanks, I guess. Mm. Let's go, Jotun. <coughs> Twenty one points.
He's thinking which card to burn. Can I get this deck list after? I suppose it's getting uh, to the point that it's a little finalized, but you can always just try to click on my face somewhere and uh, you can see the current remaining deck. I guess it's a bit messy. Okay, I'll try to set it up. Okay, good job, guy. Uh, yeah, obviously conceded. He has no chance. Well played.